don't know, I'm just gonna go with it. What's up guys? So, as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a how I edit my Instagram photos. If you guys haven't noticed, every time I do a how I edit my Instagram photos, it means that my theme is going to be changing soon, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, you guys really enjoy these videos, so that's why I really enjoy making them, plus it is a lot of fun. If you're not following me on Instagram, what are you doing? I'm going to have it on the screen here, so you should definitely go check me out. My feed is bomb. I also have the rest of my social medias in the description down below. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to join the family. It would honestly mean the world to me. Anyways, let's just go ahead and get started. I don't know why it was a good idea to make this video right now because my phone's literally at 5%. So we're just gonna have to, we're gonna have to go fast. So this is what my feed looks like right now. I know you probably, guys probably can't see it, but as you can tell, it's quite a difference from the white theme that I had before. So now it's like all colorful. I think this is the most colorful feed I've ever had, so exciting. I only use two apps for my editing, and that is Visco and Facetune. I've mentioned them in other videos before, and pretty much every Instagrammer uses them, so exciting. I don't really do anything special for it. I use one filter, and that's pretty much all I do. Sometimes I play around with different settings. If you're really trying to keep like a good theme, I suggest using different filters because not every photo is the same. I'm just one, I'm really lazy, so I use one filter. And it seems to work out, so I mean, I don't know. By the way, I got this shirt today at a thrift store. I don't go to the school and I don't play football, but I thought it was cute. So right now in my Visco, I just have a lot of selfies and it's kind of sad. But, um, welcome to being a girl. So like I said, it kind of depends on the photo. Every photo is different. I do use the same filter on everyone, which is HB2. I've been using HB2 for all my themes. I'm pretty sure if you watch, like, all my Instagram editing Instagram photo videos, I use HB2 in all of them. I will say, if you're trying to keep a theme, especially like my black and white one, you have to make sure that the colors in the, the, bruh. You have to make sure that the picture that you're taking has those colors, so if you're doing a black and white feed, you don't want to take a picture of the sky because it's blue and it's just not going to fit. That's why I kind of stopped doing the black and white feed, even though it looked really cool. I just wanted to post more pictures and it just didn't look that great. I could I wasn't able to. And I kind of just got bored of it, so that's why I decided to switch to this theme that I have now, which is a really bright and colorful. I wouldn't say bright, it's just really colorful. I don't even have... I don't even have a photo on my phone right now that I can edit. What am I thinking? We're just gonna take one real quick. So it's not the most attractive picture of me, but we're gonna go ahead and use it anyways. So what I like to do is I first like to go into Visco, and then I import the picture. And then I automatically just put it on an HB2 filter because I use it in everything. And I'm looking a little too pasty right now, so I'm gonna turn down the exposure. It makes me look a little more tan and not washed out. And then, depending on the photo, I don't think I'm going to do it for this one, but if there's a lot of color, I'll sometimes turn the saturation down. Where is it? Right here. I'll sometimes turn it down, but actually I'll turn it down a little bit. And then I'll press save and export it. And then I will go into Facetune and I will just whiten the photo and I smooth my skin out, all that jazz. I am not really too precise on this, to be honest. Sometimes, because I have like blonde in my hair, I'll try to whiten the photo and I will get my hair and my hair turns white and I don't even edit it out, like I just, I don't care. So if just be cautious of that if you're into that, I guess. If you don't want your hair to be white. I personally 
don't care. I mean, I know all of you know that I use Facetune, so it's not like I'm trying to hide anything. But I know people just, they just don't want that to happen. So just, just a warning. And then once again, I will smooth out my skin and it doesn't look too, too bad in this photo, but I'm gonna do it anyways, just to show you guys how I do it. My hands are really sweaty right now because my room is like a sauna. So this is a really difficult. And then after I'm done that, I like to check it just to see if everything looks good. And it looks pretty good, so then I just save to camera roll. And because I took this photo just like selfie, like I didn't use the back camera or anything, and the, my tip to you guys if you wanna take really good pictures is to use the back camera because it's so much better than the front camera. So like I said, because I use the front camera, I'm now gonna go in because it's a little fuzzy. And what I like to do with my pictures that are fuzzy is I like to put a grain, whoa, whoa. I like to put a grain over it and this just, it makes you, <laughs> it makes it look like it's not really blurry. It makes it look like you did it on purpose, I guess. And that, my friends, is how I edit my Instagram photos. I do have some other cool apps on my phone that I haven't really played around with, like Lightroom. I downloaded Facetune 2, but I haven't used it. I have, I don't know how to say that, Huji Cam, Filter Loop, and Molly Cam, which actually, Molly Cam is lit. <laughs> So pretty much for this app, you just have to click the button in the left corner that's like a circle and you import the photo that you want and crop it. That looks good. And then it pretty much prints it out like a Polaroid and it's just really sick and then I just like to save it. And I think a lot of people do this for Instagram, like for their stories. And I just came across this because I was looking for a certain effect and I was like, holy crap, this is lit. The other app, Filter Loop, I actually forgot to mention this. I use this in a couple photos. If you scroll down my feed, I have some pictures that have like dusty effects on them, and that was from Afterlight. But I have this problem with my phone where I switch pro uh, switch emails a lot, so I don't have the app, and I don't want to pay for it again. So uh, yeah, it also disappeared from the App Store, so that's a problem. But pretty much the only thing I used Afterlight for was the dusty effect and you can do it in filter loop. So for this, I just like to go to textures and then I'll go to dust and you can just play around with the different ones. I, I personally like D01, so I'll like apply that and it just looks really bomb. And that's about the only thing I use it for. It has other cool effects like these things. Afterlight had that too, rip Afterlight. But I just think this app's really cool and yeah. So that is pretty much how I edit my Instagram photos. Now on to some tips on how to take good pictures. One, lighting is probably the most important part. I think if you don't wanna go out and buy lighting, cause I have two umbrellas right here and then I have a ring light. Ring light, literally I recommend it to anyone. Ring light literally makes any photo look good. But that's what I have and expensive. So if you don't wanna 
get those yet, I would definitely recommend just using sunlight. Before I even had these umbrellas and this, my photos still looked great. I'm pretty sure it was pretty much all my white feed and my blue feed, the first one on my profile. I didn't have either of these lights. So definitely play around with lighting. Of course, it depends on whatever your theme is, like if you want to take outdoorsy pics. Probably not going to bring these outside. A lot of people think that you need a nice camera to take pictures, which, I mean, obviously, cameras do make pictures look bomb AF. But you can just use your phone or, yeah, you can use your phone. But you can honestly just use your phone or your iPod. I used to use my iPod and it looked great. As long as you enjoy taking pictures and you always, every time you take a picture, you're always learning new things, you're always getting better. So just practice. Most of the pictures on my Instagram I take with my phone, which is a iPhone 8. iPhone 8. And then the other pictures that aren't taken on my phone are taken on my camera, which is a Canon Rebel. Wow. And then the rest of my pictures that aren't taken on my phone are taken on a Canon Rebel T6i, which is what I'm filming on right now. And that's pretty much what I take pictures of. I just enjoy photography. I always have. And... I definitely am improving. My last tip if you're taking portraits or selfies, I guess, is just to play around and kind of find your like your good angles or whatever. I know a lot of models do that. They'll just like practice poses and whatnot or they're just drop dead gorgeous and look good in anything. But just get to know your face, get to know your body and it honestly does help. So that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure you turn on post notifications and I'll see you in the next video. Love ya. Alone, but I never am alone. Run with the bulls, my deep when I'm wrong. Gotta keep a cool head like a breeze on a stone. But hit me with the beef, I will flip like a phone. So keep the bullshit, let me focus on the wrist. Work 